The formula we use to calculate the cost of using an electrical appliance is the cost is equal to rate times energy. The cost is in cents, not dollars, so that's a unit we're not you know, used to using in everyday life very much. The rate is what you pay for hydro when, or electricity. When you use electricity, the company that provides it to you gives you it at a rate in cents per kilowatt hours. Now that's a very unusual unit, kilowatt hours. We normally use uh, watts for um, power and seconds for time, but the rate is given this way by the people who provide electricity, so the formula has been adapted for that. Which means when we calculate the energy we're going to use here, we've got to make sure it's in kilowatts times hours. And you'll see then that when we look at the units, we've got to make sure we're using kilowatts and not watts, and hours and not seconds. And again, that's unusual because in physics we generally use uh, energy and uh, power in watts and time in seconds. But this is the one exception. So let's try and calculate something. Um, I use a television in my house. The power on the back of the TV, I look and it says it's a 150 watt television. Um, I use it and watch TV for three hours and the rate that I'm getting supplied my electricity is six cents per kilowatt hour. So I want to know what the cost is. Well first I've got to write down what I've got here. Power is 150 watts. Uh, the time is three hours and the rate is six cents per kilowatt hours. Not kilowatts per hour, kilowatt hours. Okay? So, the power, I've got to check my units. Normally that would be okay, but I can't use watts. I've got to use kilowatts. So I divide that by a thousand, because watts divided by a thousand is kilowatts. That equals 0 0.15 kilowatts. The time, normally I've changed that in seconds, but this is in hours, and I need it in hours. So that's okay. And the rate six cents per kilowatt hour, the correct units. So I want to find the cost. Well, the cost is equal to the rate times the energy. I know what the rate is. It's six cents per kilowatt hours. I need the energy. How to find energy? Well, I need to find this number. I know that power is energy divided by time. There are a number of formulas in electricity, but this is the one for what I'm given that I'm going to use. So power is energy over time, so energy is therefore power times time, because I multiply both sides by t, that gets rid of this t, and it puts a t over here. So we've got energy is power times time. Okay, what's the power? It's 0.15 kilowatt hours, so I'm double checking the units. 0 0.15 times the time, which is 3. So my energy is 0.15 times 3, which is 0 0.45, and the units for energy in this case are kilowatt hours. I have my energy, that's what I was looking for, plugging it in there now. So I get my cost is rate, which is 6 times the energy, 0 0.45, so my cost my cost is equal to, point, 6 times 0.45 is 2.7 cents. I get a lot of students writing dollars here because we're used to using uh, a thing of currency and money in dollars, but 2.7 cents. So that's how much it would cost to use this TV for three hours. And by the way, that's not a lot of money to watch TV for three hours. So why wouldn't you leave the TV on all day even when you're not using it? Because it's hardly costing you anything. Uh, it's more about um, not wasting energy something had to be polluted to generate that energy. So uh, it's better to turn it off. It's not about the money, it's about the environment. There you go, it's my little speech there.